welcome welcome i have my trusty notebook here so i don't forget anything now i just gotta shoot flip to the page <laughs> Hey beautiful and welcome back to my channel where we talk about everything relating to being a 20 something year old black college student who loves to travel almost as much as she loves the Lord. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about nine things you need to know before going to Rice University. I'm spilling the tea y'all. I think that the last one is something that probably a lot of people know, but nobody actually thinks is real, okay? I really don't know why. So stick around to the last one because when I got there, it kind of blew my mind because I was not expecting it at all. Okay, so first things first, one of Rice's like biggest traditions is called beer bike. When I first got to Rise, I did not think that it was gonna be fun, like at all. Like basically the concept is people ride bikes around a track and then once they get back, the next set of people chug, like I think it's water, I hope it's water. They, the next set of people go around the track again and then they chug water and then they go around the track again and then they chug water. But all 11 colleges participate in this and they all do it and it's like literally like two hours long. Before that, cause I was like, what is this? Like, what is actually happening? Like, why do I want to sit here and watch these people go around the track and drink water and scream? Ah, like, why would I do that, right? And so I did not think it was gonna be fun. It was gonna be so boring, right? Hear me out. It's actually fun. The actual race, not that much fun. Well, uh, so what happens is you have a whole day of activities and you guys I was gonna do a video solely about beer bike but I was unable to focus enough to be able to do that okay so because you know it's literally called beer bike the entire day people are drinking and doing other things let's just say I was out by two o'clock <laughs> The entire day of beer bike is filled with all of these really, really fun activities. Okay, so first of all, you wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I know, give me a second. You wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I woke up at five, we partied or whatever. That's when you start the drinking. So literally it's a day of day drinking. Like the whole week you're doing things, but then on Saturday, you wake up at four or five o'clock in the morning and you party, you start partying. Bye, bye, bye. At eight o'clock, um, Martel had their own day party. We were all gone all gone by eight o'clock in the morning so after that there was this college-wide color war it was awesome it was so much fun we were all just kind of like throwing chalk at each other and it was like really really fuzzy because everybody is like drunk out of their mind right and then we're playing college board with like our magisters and like our ras and all these old people that are like over us well not old no offense jessica so we're playing color wars we're playing color wars with all these people it was really fun it lasted from the rules and then actually doing it and everything because there was a lot of chalk everywhere and there are 11 colleges so and i was playing with my best friend Shout out to you, you know who you are. The best part actually came after that. Color Wars was over by like 10. So at 10, all the colleges walked together with their like respective college. I'm a brown and so I was wearing a brown, not a brown shirt, I was wearing a black shirt. So I had my beer white shirt and all the beer white shirts gathered together. And that was a really good idea because and whoever thought of that like from the beginning was really smart for that. And I had to be like, oh my God, where's brown? Where's the brown flag, right? All I had to do was look for the black shirt boop there it is that's where i'm supposed to be anyway so we walked over to founders court and had a college wide water balloon fight i'm pretty sure like i was out of it but in my head i was like you are a youtuber at heart you need to show the people what's going on okay and so this happened where literally everybody was just kind of running around and throwing water balloons at each other and it was so much fun you had to find your friends like literally it was like huge like the space that we were in was like huge and you had to find your friends and like throw water balloons at them and everybody was freaking drunk and it was amazing So much fun. 
would definitely recommend like if you you decide to go to rice why not partake in some probably not all because you probably want to do, do all of them once i get to number nine some of the traditions that we have here because some of them are actually kind of fun but i don't understand the obsession that we have with drinking and nakedness but we'll talk about that in a second number two as i was saying rice university has 11 colleges but they're split into north and south North colleges have Brown, Martell, Jones, Duncan, and McMurtry. All of them have their own culture, all that kind of stuff. And then the South colleges have, oh my goodness, okay, Hansen, Weiss, Will Rice, Sid Richardson, Baker. That's not all of them. Baker. Love it. There it is. Okay, so you have the North and South colleges. You are either for a North college or a South college there's no in between i don't know what are you doing if you're from a north college normally you would support the north colleges but there are people who do not like the north colleges when i was a freshman i hated brown and that's how it is i personally think that the north colleges are prettier because they're not as clustered i personally think that the north colleges are better <laughs> sue me you know once you get here you'll figure it out if you like north or south but just know you cannot like vote you cannot like both you cannot like both that's not a thing <laughs> number three and this is specifically for my women of color specifically for my black women that have chosen to go to rice okay let me be real rice is a diverse university but rice is a diverse university of asian people and a variety of white people. And there are spices, little sprinkles of other people here too. The black community at Rice is like all of 300 to 400 people. And so I say that to say, don't expect to find your soulmate. Some people do, I'm not gonna lie. Some people do, my favorite couple, Marcy and Francis. Ooh. You didn't hear it from me, but you heard it from me. Don't expect to find your soulmate, okay? And that kind of leads me into point number four, which is more general, definitely for the whole Rice University. Please explore beyond the hedges. We literally live in Houston, which is one of the most diverse cities in the world. You literally have so many options of food, of culture, of activities. Yeah usually and when you're a college student activities kind of dwindle a little bit if you're like me in your first gen and you didn't come to college with money and that's okay so please 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 i am begging you explore beyond the hedges number five and this is probably one of the most serious most important things that i could tell you starting your journey here at rice is that imposter syndrome is real i can't tell you how many people at rice actually experience imposter syndrome especially because a lot of us are actually first generation students like 90 percent of the people at rice get a scholarship so don't let them tell you otherwise okay the rice investment is there for a reason but guess what you deserve to be there look me in my eyes you deserve to be there you got in because of your merit this is including my people who are going to be athletes because there is this thing at rice where oh my god they're an athlete they just got in because they're an athlete okay you just got in because you're smart what's the difference what's the difference tell um wh what's the difference everybody feels like an imposter don't let it get to you i promise maybe you will for like i felt like an imposter for maybe the first semester when i was working my tail off i'm trying not to curse i'm a christian woman i am trying not to curse anymore <sighs> when i was working my butt off taking physics gen chem and calc one all at the same time the Big three is what they call it at Rice. Do not do that. I'm telling you right now, you will cry. I can make a whole nother video if you guys want me to. And if you want me to, just tell me in the description box. Don't make yourself feel like terrible because you got in. Like you, this is an accomplishment. You should be happy. You should be proud of yourself for doing this when so many other people didn't. When I got in, we were called the 8%. Only 8% of candidates and the group that applied with us got in. So we were called the 8%. It's kind of like the 3% on Netflix, but not a right now. Number six, cause I have my whole plan right here of things that I don't wanna forget to tell you guys. I have been to what are called black parties and white parties at Rice. And the black parties were worse at like, I 
would not have left Rice to go to somebody else's party because I just was content with the black parties that were on our campus. Like I didn't have to leave. I, I had fun every time I went to one. Post COVID, not giving what it's supposed to give. We're getting there, we're recovering, but let's just say that the new freshmen and juniors and sophomores and you know seniors since that's what i'm gonna be next year we have a lot of work to do the black parties i mean they're better than the white parties rise is reintroducing Publix as of this upcoming year we literally had one public last year because bacchanalia got canceled and i'm lydia brown bacchanalia is brown public and we haven't had it in the last four the last three years so maybe year four will be different i am hopeful so honestly the publics are the best so-called white parties but there are off-campus parties people do do that also we're really really close to u of h sometimes people go to like U of H parties, but I almost died at a U of H party. And so also if you guys want a story time about that, it will be a very short story time, maybe a reel on Instagram. Also, you should follow me on Instagram because I put a lot of work into that and I would love it if other people could see my digital diary. Number seven and something that I actually think that I might, you know, be a part of next year. So you might see me here. Rice actually has two basically lingerie parties. Well, one lingerie party and one other party that you're basically naked, but I think everyone wears like white t-shirts and stuff. And I went to that one once. I've never been to the other one. So one, I forgot who it's hosted. I think it's War Rice. Um, and it's hosted, I think it's hosted by War Rice and it's called Risky Visions. And the other one is hosted by Weiss, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, and it's called not not is a lingerie party so uh, girls i want to say that it's i don't think it's more so because a lot of people are like oh my god like even i'll joke about rice just loves to be naked okay there's not anything we can do about it i mean there are traditions that have been here forever and ever and ever so all i can do is play my part so yeah there's not and risky business and they're really fun actually i think they're like really a really good way to have like um, body positivity on campus um, in a form that's kind of non-traditional so I really appreciate that aspect of it. Let's just say I already have my set picked out for next year. It's pretty lacy blue, baby blue because right now baby blue is like my favorite color. Let me make this clear. Yellow will always be number one but I can always have a second favorite color on top of that and I think right now it's baby blue. See you there. Oh that's what I want to say. Consent is everything I race. <laughs> there was just a scandal that happened like not too long ago where consent should be a really big part of everything that we do and so if for any reason you do not feel comfortable going to these parties don't let anybody pressure you okay even me even though i'm not trying to pressure you i promise don't let anybody pressure you into going girls and guys don't do anything if you don't want to do it that's all i'm gonna say I might come back to this because it's actually very touchy because sexual assault, I'm so sorry, disclaimer, I am a victim of sexual assault and sexual harassment. So I do want to like put it out there that it does happen on our campus, unfortunately. Um, and it's not one community or the other that does it. It's, it's kind of a college kind of thing. Just be safe, practice, have safe practices. And I'm not gonna be one of those people that are like, cover yourself because you're just wanting it, you know, you're asking for it. That's wrong, that's, I cannot with people that stay so. Just, you know, watch your back, go with friends and give someone your location and do things that will make you feel safe um, and do things that will not only make you feel safe, but keep you safe in the long run. So also, if you ever need someone to call, hit me up. If you send me a DM on Instagram and I can prove that you're a right student, I will give you a way to contact me, okay? Smooches, be safe. Number eight. If you're someone who is a really big foodie and you're really hoping that the college life is not going to be dull when it comes to food, rice is the wrong place for you. Servery food is what we call our cafeterias is how do i say this nicely 
it's not the world's best it was a lot different having basically just going to this like buffet style and getting my food usually one of the only vegetables that i ever eat is like broccoli don't come for me i know i'm trying to have a healthier relationship with food rice at least at north Servery, which is the one that's connected to brown chones and martel like, like they almost never have broccoli so it's like the only vegetable that i really get is salad cedar salad of course and green beans that are not um fully cooked in my opinion but i think they're more like steamed vegetables just don't come expecting you know five star meals because it's not gonna happen i will say that our chefs do give you the opportunity to send them recipes and tell them things that you want them to cook caution because they're cooking it the way they know how to cook it they're not cooking it the way your grandma cooked it, the way your mom cooked it, the way your cousin cooks it, the way your sister made it, okay? The way that even you would make it. Just I'm, just don't come with the ex that expectation because you're going to be let down. But, friendly note, Brown has a kitchen, Martel has a really nice kitchen, Jones also has a really nice kitchen, and I'm pretty sure every college has their own like college-wide kitchen. So you were always free to go and buy the ingredients for your recipe and cook the recipe yourself. You can even have like a feast with all of your friends. So just keep that in mind, that's a possibility. Number nine, people like to run around naked. Let me say that one more time. People like to run around naked. Like completely naked. The only thing that they have on their body is shaving cream on their nipples if you're a woman and on your private parts <sighs> and you're running around at 10 o'clock at night with, between all the colleges and at rice this is known as bigger 13. the first time that i've ever seen a crowd this big it was like literally like 200 people running around and there are people of all races so don't think that this is just a white people thing because i know what y'all are thinking if we're black out there because that's what i thought too at first but no i think i might do this my senior year maybe that's a big maybe but i'm appreciating the body positivity aspect of it so i really like that about it and it's something that happens on the 13th and either the 31st or the 26th of every month. So if a month doesn't have the 31st, then they'll do it on the 26th. So February, for example. Yeah, that's, I'm spilling the tea. If you got through all nine of these things, then you most likely really, 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 really kind of really want to go to Rice University. And I mean, I like my school, so why not? If you like my university too, then you might as well go ahead and turn on your post notifications and subscribe so that you can see more videos just like this one. In the meantime, be sure to check out these two videos or follow me on Instagram for more inspirational and might I add drop dead gorgeous content <laughs> until next time remember that i love you and god loves you but not necessarily in that order i'll see you next time